guys were doing some wonderful grilled corn on the cob in my Ninja Foodie Grill. Coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master, but I play all three on TV. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. And if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get alerts on all what we're doing here. All right, so what are we doing here today? Guys, we got some beautiful summer corn on the cob. <sighs> I love summer fruits and vegetables. And, and this is just, and putting them on the grill is just something I'd love to do. So we got some corn on the cobs that we're going to put in the Ninja Foodie Grill and just grill them up real nice, all right? Should only take about 10 minutes. I'm gonna do five minutes, check it out, roll them around a little bit, do the other five minutes. It's gonna be good to go, I'm excited. Before we get started doing the, the corn, I have my Ninja Foodie on right now. I've had a lot of questions about how much noise does it make? Is it too loud, is it, too, you know, whatever. Um, so it's preheating right now. You can hear how loud it is or how not loud it is. Obviously, I have a mic on, so you hear me a little bit closer, but that's the sound it makes. It, it isn't overly loud, but you got to understand that it's, cyclo it's, it's like a cyclone of air going through there. Cyclonic technology is what they call it. So obviously, it's a loud fan pushing a lot of heat. So that's, you know, that's what you can hear right now. All right, no big deal. Totally worth it. I don't have any issues. Okay. As you see, we've already got this thing on and preheating. We have it on the highest setting, the max grill setting. Okay, that's what they recommend for vegetables. That's what we're gonna use, all right? It gets to 510 degrees. It preheats for about eight minutes. Easy to do. Throw them on there. I'm gonna spray them down with a little uh, canola oil once we get them in there. As you can see here, I'm just shucking the corn, getting all the, the silk off, all the, the husk off. Uh, I know there's probably some people in the Midwest states that can tell me I'm not shucking the corn right, but it did the job, okay? We have it obviously preheating on the highest setting. Uh, we're just gonna put them in there. It's just gonna be that easy. So uh, there's, there's not a whole real recipe to this one. I'm just gonna put a little seasoning, a little uh, pat of butter on them. That's how I like my corn grilled like that. So however you like to doctor up your corn after it's grilled, you do you, all right? We'll get these cobs going on this Ninja Foodie Grill. All right. We're done preheating. Preheating this bad boy. I'm gonna fit four in there. It's a little snug, but it works. I'm just putting a light coat of canola oil on there. The other side. It's not mandatory, but it's just something I'm doing. Okay, let me close this down. We do five minutes, check it out. We do another five minutes and we should be good to go. Okay guys, I got a little off track on my timing. So this actually went eight minutes before checking and I'm kind of glad I did. I'm gonna, I'm thinking we need to go a little bit longer than just the 10 minutes. These don't quite feel ready to go yet. So I'm gonna move this one around. We're getting just a little bit of sear marks on there, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 15 minutes and we'll check on it. Okay, so once these two minutes run out right here, I'll, I'll program it for another uh, 10 minutes, and we'll check about halfway through that. Okay, we are done. Got some nice char in there. Just how I like my grilled corn. Looking pretty good. All right, we're gonna get it out on the cutting board. Get some butter and some seasoning on it. It's gonna be good to go. We're done, we shot the thumbnail. Let's get these uh, nice and buttered up. Put a little of that Victory Lane barbecue rub on there. Smoking chicken barbecue rub to be exact. Oh, this looks good as can be. Look at that. Buttery, spicy, delicious. Mmm. See that dripping? Mmm. That butter's dripping. Mmm. Gotta do it typewriter style. Mmm. 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 
God, that's good. That's real good. <laughs> Man. All right. All right. Let's talk about it. Come on. That corn was tasty as can be. Just some butter, a little barbecue seasoning that I like to use. Simple, easy peasy. I, I didn't want to eat it on camera because you know when you take a big old bite of corn on the cob, it gets all over, gets in your teeth. Hey, I'm not opening myself up to that right now, all right? I, I, I'm a little vain. I want to keep the money maker clean, all right? All right, guys, so that's it. Um, if you want to get one of these Ninja Foodie Grills, link is below. Show more in the description. I'll also put it in the comments. I'll pin it to the top. Please, if you're thinking about getting one of these things, get it through my Amazon link. It doesn't cost anything more to you. It just helps out the channel. I get a little, little tiny little bit. helps out the channel. Appreciate it. Also, if you want to be a member of CJ's crew on Patreon, I'll put the link right here. Click on over there. We have a lot of little extra benefits to Patreon members. Also, if you guys want to get some Cooking with CJ merch, my Teespring account is down below. Grab yourself a CJ's Crew shirt or a CJ's Crew Bear logo shirt and rock it. Put it on social media. Tag me in it. And let me know when you get it on there, all right? That's it for this time. I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.